Valentine's Day is coming up quick, so I've got a couple of quick little projects for you and a little bonus project at the end, a quick little gift. So let's get crafting. This first project is a very simple project and it's really cute. So you're gonna take your bag here of little table scatter with the little hearts, which I've already dumped some out here to use. And then you're just gonna start placing them in a kind of a fun swirly pattern on your glass. Now, I'm gonna be using my hot glue for this because I don't want it to be a permanent holding um, thing. I wanna be able, you'll see at the end, I'm gonna show you how I take those apart and pull these off and they come off really easily if you've used the hot glue. But again, if you want it to be permanent, please use your E6000 or similar adhesive. And I'm just putting a little dot of the hot glue on there and pressing it into place. It cools immediately on this cold glass, so make sure you get it right where you want it. So just a little dot, which I'm putting it right down here at the base of the heart and just place the heart right where you want it. There's no real rhyme or reason to this. Um, kind of, it's fun to just sort of be a little creative and place things however you want on here. And it doesn't take much glue at all because you really don't want that glue to show from the inside either. So you can see I've got this going up that way. Um, now I think I'm gonna maybe branch off of that and do another swirl off to the other side or I don't even know. It's kind of just something to play with as you go and just see what looks good to you. So you get the idea. I'm gonna continue on here and kind of play with my design a little bit. Branch off this way, maybe make some swirl patterns. Just have fun with it. And the beauty of it is, if you're not liking the direction something's going, then you just pop these right off again. <laughs> so it's like we said, you know, this is a temporary project that you put up in an area where it's not gonna get touched or banged around, but at least it's a really fun little decorative piece to make. I didn't quite use the whole bag, and the key also is to not really overdo it because then it just, you lose the lines if there are too many hearts on there. So this is what I have come up with for my design. You can see I just kind of branched off of different ones, different places, and now what we're gonna do is have a little fun with our chalk marker. And this particular chalk marker is from Arteza. They have some really, really nice markers in different colors. There is a link already down in my description box for Arteza, you can check them out. But there are also really nice chalk markers at Dollar Tree as well. So if you want colors, go for Arteza. If you want white, why not get them at Dollar Tree or wherever. Now what we're gonna do is just go in and make some little swirl designs. So wherever you feel you wanna do that, kind of, again, this is all sort of fun, and just draw in some little swirls. We're gonna go into some of these empty spaces. You can do whatever design you like. So I'm gonna just kinda play with it and do my swirls in different places. You can branch them off of, off of the hearts or off of another swirl, whatever you like. And this just adds a little bit of extra fun stuff in there. And when you get it the way you like it, you are all done. Told you this was gonna be an easy one. <laughs> now that I got this all done, <laughs> I just wanna show you how easy it is to take this all apart and reuse this for another time. But this is pretty much just a temporary thing for a nice little decoration. It'll hold up well until you're ready for these to come off. And then you'll see that the glue does not stick to the glass. It pretty much sticks to the plastic much better. So super easy to get these off. And then as far as the chalk marker, that's just as easy as well. 
just use a little bit of water and that just wipes off. Once you get all the hearts off, you can even just wash this in your sink. So there you go. And you will be right back to a clean vase to use for whatever other projects you have. If you did want to make this more permanent, you want to use the E6000 or similar adhesive to hold these on and then they won't break off as easily. And as far as the chalk paint goes, you would definitely want to use um, some type of a marker that's not water soluble like this. And there you have a vase ready to start a new project with. This next project is a really easy one as well. So I've taken my five by seven frame and this was the type of frame that has glass on both sides and not the backing with the stand. And the reason I chose this one, aside from the fact that it was left over from another project, is that this also has a piece inside here that normally goes in between the glass and this is a great little piece to hide some of that interior part of the frame, which we want to hide for this particular project. You can kind of see that this is not fitting well from side to side. So I'm gonna actually throw some hot glue in there to get it to sort of stick to the sides and not to be showing from the front or leaving any kind of um, space or anything like that. And I'm gonna go around and do that to all four sides just to make sure that they are back and out of the way. At this point, I'm just gonna pull out all these little tabs on the back side because they're really not necessary anymore now that we have this other piece glued into place. And it gives a cleaner look from the front too. Okay, now we're gonna be taking our cute little hair ties, which these are way too cute to be hair ties. I loved when I saw them, that, that shimmer that they had to them. I just thought they were so cute they needed to be in a DIY and not on the back of somebody's head. Anyway, we're gonna place our hearts exactly where we want them to be hanging. So if you want them all lined up, you can do it like that. Or if you want them kind of offset, you know, it's up to you, whatever sort of style, how you want your project to look. I think I'm gonna offset them and sort of center them in your frame. And then what we're gonna do is take our pearl wrap. I got this at Dollar Tree and we're gonna be using this to hang the hearts from. Now I'm gonna figure out what the longest length is for what I'll need and cut off a strand there. And then what we're gonna do is cut that into double strands. So this is a five strand um, pearl wrap as it comes. And what I'm gonna do with that is glue it to the top part of my frame and then to my heart. So I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to those top two pearls across there and put them right onto my frame. Then the other end, we're gonna glue directly onto the little hair tie heart. Now I'm gonna do the same with the other two. And here we have our three little hanging hearts. Now, if you would like, and now the reason I did two strands, let me just tell you, I tried doing single strand and these things were spinning and it was not working. So double strand is probably the best thing or even triple. And now you can be done right here if you are a minimalist, which I tend to not like things too foofy, or if you have some kind of ribbon that you wanna put on, or maybe you wanna put a little bit of pearl around um, some of your edging you can do that too I'm gonna actually leave this as is and I'm gonna show you these two cute little Valentine projects that are quick and easy if you're planning on putting this on the wall you don't have anything to worry about you can just kind of put it up there you can either put a picture hanging hook on there or you can just kind of hang it from the little ledge that it has naturally which a lot of times I do that if you're planning to stand it up somewhere and you're concerned with it tipping over then there are a few different options you can do to make a little bit more stable so this is one option you can take a Jenga block you can spray paint it or cover it in your pearls or in bling wrap, I have a bunch of extra little scraps of bling wrap here. So depending on the look you want, that's one option. It does show a little bit from the front, so you would wanna cover it with something or spray paint it at very least. If you don't have a Jenga block and you have some popsicle sticks, you can cut those. I spray painted this one silver 
and I'm just cutting it into smaller pieces, equal pieces. Then you can glue those together and then glue that to the back of your frame here so that that also offers it the stability from not tipping over. So that's two options there. Even something like a clothespin. I spray painted this clothespin silver. I had it from a different project. You can put that on the back side and have that to hold it up. It just gives it something a little more interesting and unique. So there are several different options. Um, I'm probably just going to try covering the Jenga block with the bling wrap or I don't even know. But anyway, you'll find out in a minute. <laughs> well, are you enjoying what you're seeing so far? If you are, hit that subscribe button down below and join our Glue Dot family. You can also follow me on social media by joining our Facebook group, Midnight Crafter Glue Dots, where you can share ideas and post some of the creative things that you're working on. I also have an Instagram account, EP Midnight Crafter, and you can follow me on Pinterest as well. If you're interested in entering to win a cute little bling owl keychain, I do that drawing the first of every month with a live chat, and you'll find that link right down below in the description box. All right, let's get to that bonus craft and see the basket I came up with that would make a really great gift. Now I'm going to show you a little bonus Valentine thing that I've kind of decided last minute to throw in and show you. So I picked up one of these really cute little baskets from Dollar Tree. They're really nice and sturdy. You know, a lot of times you, you grab them from the sides and if they have anything on them, they're just really bleh, mush. But these are actually pretty sturdy and I really, really like the way they look. Anyway, we're going to start out by removing all the paper from it. And then I just have some pink tissue here that I'm going to crumble up. So the items that I use to make this basket, I kind of went around obviously using the Valentine theme, but I went around and looked for items that were pink. So they have some really, well pink or red, I should say. They have these really great vase fillers right now at Dollar Tree and they're the little hearts and I think they're so cute. What I'm gonna do is show you some of the items that I picked up so you can kind of get an idea. I found this really cute little glass votive holder and it's got a wooden little love charm on there. I think my niece is really going to like that. And then I found this heart-shaped bath bomb. How fun. And I, I had seen someone haul these bath bombs. This is the XO and then this is the heart. And I think it was Sarah Jane of Chic on the Cheap that she had hauled these and I knew that I had to get over to Dollar Tree and get some because they're so cute. Uh, then I found also these little microfiber facial pads, which are great for any age, actually. They're, I'm doing this for my teenage niece, but anybody can use these little pads. The one side has the terry cloth on it. The other side has kind of that crisscross mesh. So they're great for cleaning off your makeup or kind of maybe even slightly exfoliating. And then I found also they have these pink and white scrubber things for the shower. What do they call these? Lufa bath sponges. I don't know. Bath sponges, I suppose. <laughs> and then speaking of sponges, they had a few different styles of these type of sponges, which I thought these were really cute. She can either use this in the shower or she can use it as a craft project. You could even put paint on this and use this as a stencil, not a stencil, a stamp. So there's a few different options for this that you can do. And they have some adorable socks. I couldn't help getting, I only got two, but there were so many and it was really hard to narrow down. These are heart-shaped leopard print, which is so cute. And these here are really cute little gnomes with a heart. It's adorable, I love it. I wish they fit me, I mean, I guess they would fit my feet, but my legs are, my calves are a bit large for these kind of things. I also found these shower fizzers, which it's not the perfect pink color, but it's kind of a pinkish purple color. But I just thought these would be great. And these you throw into your shower if you're not a bath person. And this one says it's therapeutic, calming, and relaxing. And there's three of them in here. So these you just um, wet the tablet under the running shower water and you place it on the shower floor in the corner away from direct spray of the water. And then it says as the 
fizzer is sprinkled with water, the fragrance releases into the steam. So these are really cool. I, I wanted her to try those out and I have to see, she'll have to let me know. And then, you know, you can't have a teenager without some kind of a notepad or a journal. And this one was really cute with the pink and white polka dots. And it says, do what you love. And I thought that would be perfect for this. And I also found this one here, which has a few different colors, but it's got that nice pink and red on it. And it just says, be kind. And that is something that my niece embodies. She is just kind to everybody. She's a little doll. So this was perfect. And it just, I felt like this needed to be for her. The last thing I found, I just kind of found it randomly, not even where it was supposed to be, was this little shimmery pink scrunchie. You can see it's got a little bit of some sparkle to it too, which I just thought this was really cute. So, and she's always, you know, wearing ponytails and stuff. And apparently guys, scrunchies are back in, who knew, right? So I've got my tissue paper in there and I'm gonna start by taking some of my taller items and placing them in the back. So my little um, notepads here are gonna go in. This one technically is a journal, it says. And I'm gonna sort of tuck that in behind the tissue paper. This is hard to do backwards, you guys. <laughs> but I want you to be able to see this. And actually, you know what? These little um, loofah things, I'm gonna take them out of the package because I just, I feel like they're just gonna look, they're gonna cheapen the look of the basket. In fact, I'm probably gonna take this out too. I don't like having these little type of things in there. I was looking too for a pink pen or something like that and I didn't find anything, unfortunately. So these will also make great filler, which is perfect for this. I found this is also a tall item, so kind of put that off somewhere to the side in a way that shows the wording. I am by all means no expert basket maker, just to, to let y'all know that in case you, you know, but I just wanted to give you ideas of what you can put in and how you can put something together. Now these, I don't wanna take them out of the bag, so I'm just gonna fold that down and maybe kind of tape it to keep it out of the way so it doesn't look tacky, but it still shows the pink and this still shows them as being new. And I think now would probably be a pretty good time to throw in my little candle. Maybe I'll put it over here like that and let that loofah give it a little bit of height, but we still want it to stay in the basket. And the socks, I'm just gonna sort of fold them. She's gonna be able to see them but the little heart shows, which is cute. We'll stick that up here. And this one here would, with the colors would look really good kind of to add a little bit of texture and pattern back over here. So uh, what the way I kind of looked at that is that this has a lot of stuff going on already. Not so much over here, more solid colors. So I'm gonna throw this pair of socks over here. Let's put our little XO bath bomb and the heart bath bomb. I think the scrunchie, you know, I'm not sure. I might want to put this heart up here. I'm going to put the heart right behind this all. Just kind of showing you my, my rhyme or reason when I'm putting this together. And I want this XO to sit up a little higher. So I'm going to kind of move that loofah over a bit. And then lastly, we have the little scrunchie that I wanna throw in there. And I'm gonna tuck that right down in here. And then if you want stuff to sort of stay in place, a trick that I see a lot of times, you know you see these really cool Easter baskets that are made and they look like they have tons of candy in them, but really what it is, they have a big giant piece of cardboard and stuff is kind of taped on it. So it looks like it's all piled in, but it's not. So if there's something that you want to kind of have stand up or stick up a little bit, you can just stick a little bit of tape to the backside and, and tape things together. And I'm gonna play with this a little bit. This is the gist of it. And then I'm gonna get this wrapped up. 
So at this point, I'm pretty happy with the way everything looks, except I don't like that this little heart is shoved so far down. So I'm gonna put some more tissue or something underneath in there just to raise that up a little bit. In fact, this might be a good place, even though they won't show, to throw some of my little um, vase filler hearts. I'm gonna drop in a few little hearts in random places that may or may not show. And now there's a lot of really cute Valentine ribbon at Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna take some of that and tie that right around this edge to add a little bit of fun to the basket outside. So these are some of the cute ribbons that they had at Dollar Tree. I'm actually gonna use this one right here because I like that it has the pink and the red in it. So I'm just gonna use my hot glue gun for this and wrap it around the basket, probably up closer to the top, and hot glue gun it into a couple spaces there just to keep it in place. And not too much because in case she wants to remove it later, uh, she can still do that, but at least it will kind of add to the basket a little bit and give it a little bit of pizzazz. I think that adds just a really cute touch to this. And then we're gonna be using this gift basket wrap bag thing. Gift basket wrap bag, basket bag. Okay, whatever. Gift basket basics. <laughs> and they have these at Dollar Tree. This is a little large for my basket, I think, but it's okay. I'm gonna put this in the bag there, put it all the way down to the bottom. Once you get that all gathered up where you want it, I have mine leaning a little more back so that it's not like right in the center on top of the basket. Take another piece of whatever ribbon you'd like. Now, I don't have any more of the other one, so I'm gonna use this little XO heart one. And then I'm just gonna kinda give those a nice little angle on the ends just to give it a finishing touch. Another nice little touch, which I don't have any, but they do. I didn't find them, but I did see, I think it was Caitlin from Crafts by Caitlin, and she had found some really cute little heart cut out, uh, laser cut wood pieces. That would be a great little item to hang right here as a charm. I wasn't able to find those, so unfortunately I am not gonna be able to do that, but you can put a little card hanging here with the person's name, any number of things to personalize it, but I just, I also wanna show you too, we do have these big fat corners here. I'm gonna take and wrap those around the back and just put a little piece of tape so that it tidies up our basket a little bit. If this part's too long, you can also cut that off. And just gather it, and I like to kind of cut it just haphazardly so it doesn't look all perfectly cut off. My main reason for showing you guys this basket today is not so much that I am like the master basket maker, but because I wanted you to see that it's really simple you don't have to overthink it and put a bunch of stuff in there, just some cute little things. You don't have to be the best bow tire. You don't have to be the, the most creative person. Just put it together and the person that receives it will absolutely love it. So go for it, have fun with it. You can put any number of things in it and just make it your own. Mm -hmm.